Hey, it's John at Tinderbox Arts. Little video here about the actuator door on the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a 2011 model I'm working on, uh, but the 2011, I think, to the 2013 is all the same, and I think the Dodge Durango might be the same as well. This has all been a part. There are many videos about how to take this apart. I'm on the passenger side. The driver's side is a little different, but here's the problem. Now on the passenger side, you have the glove box. All this has to come out. It's not that difficult. Basically, there's a bunch of screws here. This has, panel has to kind of get pried out and that's enough access. Now I ended up taking off, there's a duct, piece of plastic duct that comes off of here and down. I took that off later for a reason. Now in my case, it's very common. There's the actuator itself and then there's this little gear. You could buy these gears easily. This is cracked, so this is why I had to replace it. Um, and I also found that the actuator, there was a crack right here in the mounting. So even though I think this does still work, I don't want to use again. So I have a new actuator and a new gear. But before you just go throwing a new gear in, there must be a reason why it cracked in the first place. Most of the time, I think there is going to be a reason. It doesn't just crack from age or something like that. There are cracks for a reason. So I'm going to use my screwdriver as a pointer here. If you've gotten this far, you realize that the gear of the actuator moves this little door by moving this gear right here. This is the what it's supposed to look like, okay? See where it kind of naturally sits and I can easily flop that back and forth with the screwdriver. But when I first got here, that was not the case. When I first got here, this was all the way up, way past where uh, my screwdriver is now, and it was jammed up into this area right here. And that's because the actuator door itself is kind of a cylinder that, you can see that rounded part of the ducting here, that cylinder swings back and forth, and instead of sealing in this area right here where it should, it was jammed past that so far that it couldn't unstick itself and that's why that gear cracked in the first place. So this is what it's supposed to look like. It should easily swing back and forth like that. The problem is once it's stuck, how do you unstick it? So there are a bunch of videos about how to unstick this thing. Some videos people try to take this flapper door out so they can stick their hand all the way in there. That looked way complicated and um, I, I just don't know how you even do that, honestly. I never did see anybody explain that to me. Some people take this entire assembly out, in which case you got to disassemble the whole dash to get that out. And I think the part supposedly is like 1300 bucks or something. So I was not going to do that. A lot of people cut an access hole. So you'll see they cut a hole right here. Uh, it's just plastic. Um, and then they have more access to stick a tool in there. But that looked like, you know, you could risk damage. And I was just trying to figure out a way to do this without damaging uh, the ductwork and without, you know, spending a whole day taking the dash apart. So I thought about it and I come up with a realization. What you need is a tool to be able to stick into this hole right here and be able to put force downward. And it's just very close quarters there. And I was thinking about it. And I realized I had an old crowbar, not very big. You can see it's not a very big crowbar, but it has plenty of room right here to stick that in. And it has this angle right here. So what I was able to do, I took the crowbar like this, stuck it in here like this carefully. And you can kind of feel your way around. The, with the door stuck up, the crowbar is something like this. And then once I got to where I thought it might be the right place, I just put a lot of pressure downward and that pushed the door past the seal where it was stuck and I was able to free it. So once I did that, then this thing flopped about easily and that's the way it should be. Is this fixed permanently? Mm, I have my doubts. So if you look at this gear, there are some stops here and that's supposed to stop this uh, flapper door from going too far, flapper cylinder from going too far. Obviously it doesn't. Um, you, some people have put a little screw in here to make this bigger. I suppose you could use some epoxy or something to make the stop, you know, a little farther out. And uh, I think for the moment, I'm not going to do that. But if this happens again, um, I will look into that. But the main thing is this crowbar is what saved my life here as far as getting that flapper door or the flapper cylinder, I should say, unstuck. 